in all things that you do, if you have to do it alone, if you have no one to rely on, if right now you don't have that support system that you wish you have, you just have to trust the process. You may start the journey alone, but I don't think you end up alone yeah. by the end of the road. My lowest was when actually, I, I'm sure you guys know, I found out my grandma passed away. Oh, yeah. You know, I cried from Tokyo to Kyoto. Who can say that? Three hours nonstop. It was to a point where I, I was wheezy. I can't go. It's not very painful. Hey all, welcome back to another episode of Let's Check It Out with me and Mandy. Ooh. And today we're going to talk about finding comfort being alone. Yeah. Let's check it out. When we talk about finding comfort of being alone, we're talking about strong, independent women. And I've been asking on Instagram, on YouTube, on who do you want to see on our show, and her name pop out yeah. multiple times. Like Maggie, 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 Maggie. <laughs> Welcome, Maggie. Maggie, we pop out. <laughs> I'm so flattered. Like my we name decided. mentioned on Jane Chuck's page. Like, come on, you guys. No, we decided to like just <laughs> let you run the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here I'm gonna take over, you guys. We haven't really sat down and talked. Yeah. Until we met in Japan. In Japan. Really? You were traveling alone. Yes, I was on my solo trip. I have to say though, before I even talk about my solo trip, what kind of person I am? Yeah. I as much as you think I'm confident, independent, and all that stuff, I I actually am someone who struggles a lot with uncertainty. Oh, like, is it? when you mean like then things I don't just, know no. what's going to happen, yeah. it gives me so much anxiety. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So can you imagine going on a solo trip on my own? Like it's a trip of uncertainty. Yeah. I really don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. So I think I managed to really, I won't say fully overcome my fear for uncertainty, but I've learned to be a lot more comfortable with myself, which is kind of like what we're talking about today, yeah. right? Like being alone is it's not, not bad. lonely. Yeah. I think that's the whole point. Yeah. A lot of times we talk about this, you know, you see people eat alone. Yeah. Ew, why should No, so back then I was like that. You know, like I need to, I don't know, before I actually started going events alone, yeah. you know. I always need someone to go with me. Mm -hmm. But until this point, right, you're just like, okay, I just want to get things done. Yeah, it's more efficient yeah. sometimes. I actually prefer shopping alone. Yeah, I oh, always have to shop alone because I just hate the idea of like someone there. just waiting outside. Yeah. You know how sometimes when you go for a solo trip, maybe the first two days, you're like, oh my god, I'm pumping up, like, so excited. <laughs> so independent. Then, yeah, <laughs> like, I'm loving it. I'm loving this energy. And then you will go... There are days, right? Like maybe mid days, you go damn low. Like you feel like, oh my god, like I want to go back, and then you feel like, okay, you miss, like you miss. I mean, how do you actually? Because you already booked the place. Like no, the problem is that you book two weeks. Yeah, Who the hell do two weeks solo trip? Yeah. I'm like, Not okay, one. five Not days maximum one. for me, four days. Yes, I think I really jumped the gun, full two weeks okay. because I didn't travel for a long time. This is my okay. first post COVID trip. Oh, oh. wow. Zunda. Like I before that was all work trip. To answer your question, I feel like there were more highs than lows. Okay, mm. that's good. But I will talk about our low. My lowest was when actually I I'm sure you guys know I found out my grandma passed away. Oh yeah. I woke up in Tokyo. It was the day I was supposed to go to Kyoto. I woke up with the news that she passed on, and I just kind of went with a low. It's like going on a car. Okay, this right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here, and that's okay. And it was a different experience. Because so ngam, I think I feel like I'm, I'm a Christian. I believe like God planned everything for me. Yeah. Because if I freaking feel that way in Tokyo, right? It's so overwhelming because Tokyo is so overstimulating. Yeah. So many things going on. So many people. It's always crowded. And it's just like, what, what, what? But it was the day I was going to Kyoto. And Kyoto is it's so calm. kind of peaceful. Yeah. So I had that alone time there. Um, and I really managed to really maximize that during that time. I cry the sh you know, I cry from Tokyo to Kyoto. Who can say that? Three hours non-stop. Wow. <laughs> Until, you know, on the bullet yeah. train, I was next to this couple. Surprisingly, they're actually Malaysian, you know. Oh, so actually, if you're watching, I mean, they didn't know what happened. They just saw me cry. Saw you cry. Just saw me cry. And then, at first, I wasn't wearing my cap or my mask. And I started really sobbing profusely. Like, just non-stop. Like, <laughs> like, until yeah, like that, you know? Yeah, oh, like, yum kong, right? Because yeah. I have to, like, <laughs> tahan, like, Because I have to tahan and, and contain my cry. I have to 
it was to a point where I, I was wheezy. <laughs> I can't go. It's not very painful. So I wore my mask, I wore my cap and I started tearing. I think my mask was also all wet. Oh no. Um, but I could tell like, they were trying to give me space and then they try to Beautiful. pretend to sleep. Okay, fun gal, fun gal. <laughs> but after, because I think it was Kyoto first, they were going to Osaka. So I dropped, I, I, I left first. So And I told them, hey, um, I'm so sorry that I was just crying the whole time. It must be must have been so awkward for you guys. So I just kind of told them, actually my grandma passed away and I just found out and I hope uh, I didn't make you too uncomfortable because it's such a long train ride. I wouldn't say like you build confidence in a day, right? Yeah. So you always think of what people think about you. Mm. Especially when I started blogging in young age, I expose myself a lot and I get like a lot of these comments or whatever. So when I go out, I would still feel like if I eat alone, is it like very lonely like that? Mm. I would think too much. Yeah. But actually nobody gives a shit. No one gives no a one shit. No really gives a shit. But I love the idea yeah. of being alone. Yeah. Because yeah. this is when you push yourself, like you say, make decisions yeah. on your own. It takes time. It's like practice, like working out. The first time you can't squat yeah. 50 kilos. You have to start with yeah. maybe no weights first. Add on your weights over and over time with resistance and with time. I mean, my mom always put me in a very uncomfortable situation. In the right way, yeah. <laughs> in the right way. My mom always put me in a very yeah. uncomfortable situation like that I'm just like, shit. I was sent abroad to go study. And then I was there for like, I think max two weeks. And then she put me in this um, house where like, there's like a lot of people are staying, random people are staying. And I call, I call, I'm like, mom, I want to oh, yeah, go, go back. I want to go back. I said, I don't want to study no, anymore. You ask that I don't want to study anymore. She's like, no. You then she just, okay, I call you, I call you tomorrow. <laughs> I talk to you tomorrow. Today you want to like comfort her. Yeah, I talk so to you whatever. tomorrow. Yeah. There's quite a lot of things that, you know, the independency and also the decision making. And, and that's why you are who you are yeah, today. Not it's my mom. La. I was very independent from young actually. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Right? Yeah. That helps me a little bit to have a better head start. Like I, from young, I have no one to rely on. I, I come from a broken family. Very open about this anyway. So I'm always on my own. But travelling on your own is a bit different because you're in a foreign land. Definitely, I had moments where I'm like, holy shit, why did I book two weeks? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I did text like people back yeah. home. But, um, should I book a trip back? Because my grandma, I want to go back for the funeral. But then actually it was my family who said, no, it's okay. You already saw her. I, I did see her a month before she passed. So like I had family that were there to reassure me. Yeah. And I think we are human, you know. We, we need connection. Yeah. Yeah. So can't say that we, we are not made and not built for isolation. I think it's just not. As much as being alone is empowering, being alone is great and fun, I think throughout the journey, there has to be moments of balance where yeah. I'd still reach out. I still call people back home. I still t tell them how, how much I miss home. I think uh, it's a bit of that lah. So I won't say I'm like Terminator. Yeah, I don't want to come home. Yeah. No, I'm not like yeah. that. I was, I was, I definitely had pockets of that. But like I said, the the high were more than the lows. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was a bit of both. I want, I want to ask something. You live alone, right? Yeah. And then you also live alone, right? Yeah. I have never lived alone. Huh? In I've my lived life. alone so many times. <laughs> I have never lived Cause alone. I'm not from KL. Yeah. What I learned is like being alone is that um, living alone, which I love it. Yes. I love it. Yes. You have your own time. Full freedom. Full freedom. Do whatever you want. And then you also miss the family part, which yeah. that's one thing I, I love about that. Because you know, when you stay your family, you yeah. do everything is just all prepared. Everything all prepared for you. Your Wake up prepared. for you. Clean everything. The house yeah, for you. no laundry and everything. But then when you start staying alone, there's all these like set of problems that you kind of need to revisit again. I think for me, I have definitely lived alone before because my family is not from KL. My sense of independence came from then. Like even back home, right, when I was in Ipoh, actually after my grandma passed on, uh, my mom actually is not with me the whole time. She mm. left us. When I say left, it's like she went abroad to work when I was seven years old. Oh, okay. So I, I was taking care of, I've been independent my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. That's really whole life. That's like so seven. the whole life, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so you see, mine might be like... <laughs> 17 kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah. But why not live alone before? Why have you not lived Because alone? I always in KL. And your family is your here, Your family right? is here. So mm. I don't really have like the idea. I also no money. Like. And then now... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, money is one like, thing. Oh, but now that I got money, yeah. also got husband. Yeah, yeah I know mean, like, <laughs> technically both of us now live out from but our family, family, you know, for but two not, years. Yeah. There's a lot of things to learn. But actually, I was quite alone. Even though me and Han Bing, right? Because it's busy. Yeah. No, not busy. We just very like, we respect our timer. Yeah, like you watch yeah, your yeah, show, yeah, I do yeah, my own yeah. thing. I think that's, that's very nice to have. Yeah. 
one thing, okay, my because my partner, how he comfort me sometimes, right, about some certain things. Yeah. He always say this, okay, it's a very Cantonese thing. And so some people might take it, I it's like, my god, I mean, in a very, I mean, some people might true. Take, yeah. yeah. So he will always tell me, he always comfort me that, and then, so I will be like, okay, I always have this, um, if there's anything that goes wrong or like, you know, experience something that you know that you're going to lose someone or whatever, I always have this in my head. It's like, okay, it's not like, my god, I don't know. But I, I actually believe that like, cause you are the one that support yourself. But I was never like that. I, I was in old relationships where if the person wants to leave me, I panic. I'm like, what do oh I my do? God, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Start begging. Like, <laughs> yeah, I have obviously <laughs> begged people back before into my life and it ended up not jadi any. But like, that's why the sense of self is so important. Yeah. Like, it's really going back to, you need to be so comfortable with yourself because it really applies in every aspect of your life. Eventually, you live alone or if you don't, if you're with a partner, don't lose that sense of self ever. Yeah. When it comes to sense of support, do you have like, someone what that's support always yeah. to me? Support comes in many different forms. Uh, I think for me, in this season of my life, it's in a form of the community that I've built through the years. Mm. As much as these people are strangers online, I feel like they are also not. Yeah. I yeah. feel like we, we share so many similarities more than we know. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. My point is, um, in, in this season of my life, support is really through the community that I've built and the team that I've built around me and my friends. Yeah. The people around me, not just friends. Like I think for you guys, you guys have been able to support me in different ways during my trip. Yeah. Like, different form, different form. It's not just one thing. I think support is so many different things. What about yourself? Yeah. For What's me, yeah, I feel like, like, I say like, just like TikTok, you pick your own friends. So you need to understand which friends that give you the right energy that supports you what you do. You know, some friends are just like, you know, oh, you cannot one lie. And then you start doubting yourself. So it's really important, that, especially at this age, I'm 30 already, you kind of need to know how to identify which people are there to support yeah. you. I forgot about this. Uh, one of my biggest support is my therapist. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think I'll be the person I am today without the past four years with her. I think she changed my life. It's really important that you need to find someone to talk to when you need. Yeah. Yeah. Looking for a therapist is just like finding a gym instructor. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's, it's just, just for your brain. brain. It's, it's just more for your mental. Like it's your just mental more health for, is also like It's just more for health. your mental. And I think because yeah. you're in this age, right, that you know everyone is just so busy with their life. They have their own problems and everything. And sometimes, you know, you just naturally you just feel bad talking to your friend about some other yeah. stuff because you know they already have a lot of things in mind so instead of that just maybe navigate to a more like professional help yeah. that you can kind of like non-biased yeah non-biased don't know who you are and then you give you, you objective talk. solutions yeah. or advice yeah I mean, like, sometimes with friends how many of you take side of them yeah it's very hard. <laughs> yeah that's why it's very hard. Hard. Let's be honest. yeah okay maybe Maggie you can share one advice for people who wanted to come out and be alone <laughs> be comfortable with themselves but before, we, I, I, before I say that though, a lot of people think alone means lonely, like sad and all. Yeah. I think we're, we're really not talking about in that context. In all things that you do, if you have to do it alone, if you have no one to rely on, if right now you don't have that support system that you wish you have, you just have to trust the process. Trust that the road that you will take will lead you to where you need to be. Even if it's a roadblock ahead of you, that roadblock will redirect you to the next path in your life. Along the way, you will learn valuable lessons. You will meet people that will bring value into your life just as you bring value into your life. And then together, you can go to where you are. Because I can say this much, you may start the journey alone, but I don't think you end up alone yeah. by the end of the road. Wow. Good job. I think I we think. all don't need to say much. <laughs> yeah, she we, kind of like summarized. We finished already, lah. Yeah, we are like, good job, Maggie. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the idea of being alone sounds scary, but to be honest, in this world, you actually never really we have our phones. alone. Yeah, you know, like you are never really alone. The things that you experience, someone else is experiencing the same thing. Yeah. So that's the idea I want to tell. I love that. About it's them. true. It's yeah. true. And for me, it's just I think just the just take small little steps to start like, you know, understanding yourself. For me, I always talk to, I mean, talk to myself a lot. I love that. You talk to yourself a lot. I think that for me is the first step. You talk to yourself, you um, comfort yourself, you advise yourself and then after that, from there, you slowly do like baby steps of like, you know, doing things alone and find joy in it. I think you just need to find joy in doing things alone. 
then you don't feel that it's something that is very uncomfortable. Yeah. So maybe we can challenge your viewers today after this episode. Go, go book something. Book a, trip. <laughs> book a trip if you can afford. If you cannot, book an activity. Trip, yeah, yeah. Take a drive out to yeah. a city nearby, mm -hmm. locally. Do something on your own. Or, or just have a meal on your own. I think bottom line is, guys, don't be scared. Yeah, don't be scared. Yeah. It's fine. This one's a really good one. I really? feel like a lot of audience will appreciate it. I feel like I'm not... I'm, I don't know if I give value to the episode. You, oh my wow. See, uh, see? Well, I tell you, <laughs> after, <laughs> when this one is out, right, we only talk like two minutes and then the rest is yours. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much, Maggie, for joining oh, us. Hopefully, we get to do it again. Yeah, yeah. I'll come again. I will come again. Anytime. Come every week. Oh, we go on to your show. <laughs> yeah, come, <laughs> come to me again. Come over. to my show <laughs> and then I come to your show. So then we get a friend again. I don't yeah. mind. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this episode. Bye. Yes. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> Because we never live alone now. So you don't know when to do laundry. You don't know when to clean the house. So who does you know laundry? That? We both of us do our own laundry. Like we wash his own clothes. I don't I don't want to, him to touch my clothes. Let's get something happen, right? <laughs> then yeah, I'm gonna argue. Him. Yeah, it's fine. I said this before. Um, I've learned that being alone isn't lonely. Not all the time. Yeah. Sometimes.